Hi, and welcome to a packed edition of The Property Show. Sit back and enjoy as we explore the world of real estate. Let's dive in. Have you ever heard the saying, you are just one hospital bill away from poverty? Well, buckle up because we are about to unravel why that statement hits close to home for many of us and how you can access affordable health solutions. Catch this conversation on our expert segment. Jubilee Health Insurance focuses on providing comprehensive health insurance affordability but also quality because we think, you see the thing is health insurance is a service. It's not just about uh, whether it's affordable, it's also that people are getting better and we have better healthcare outcomes. On the property pick of the week, we highlight a unique opportunity available in mixed use development. The decorating corner brings a journey of accessing solar power to enjoy life without power blackouts. Then we also came up with home solutions. So you want to power several rooms in your house. What do you do? So we have a home solution. The property news is all about our upcoming signature bus tour. Later on, we'll highlight the ABCs on a successful home buying experience. Unbelievable. I think it's very important to uh, contract a professional before you own a home because number one, you need to do your own due diligence and that's where they come in to assist you with any loopholes that might be there that you had not seen. Especially for lawyers, they're able to read through the fine print and tell you what it is that you're missing before you sign on the dotted line. We are live on our digital platforms. Feel free to share, like, and subscribe to stay connected. Our diaspora desk is also open for a chat. Get comfortable, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As always, there is something for everyone. The property pick of the week brings a gated community nestled within a mixed-use development in Kiambu County, offering an array of family-friendly amenities. We will also feature a vibrant, contemporary, rustic countryside homes located in Gong neighborhood, unveiling the best of both worlds. is a mixed-use development strategically integrating key components of a community including outdoor and eco-friendly living, easy access to social amenities and public infrastructure. Ideal investments for a lock-up and go to a home for a modern family in an all-secure and appealing environment. Let's explore. Located in Kenya's first operational special economic zone in Kiambu County, this development has easy access to schools, offices, a shopping district, medical clinics, nature areas, and a sports and entertainment complex. Investing in or purchasing these townhouses guarantees that all amenities will be easily accessible for ready tenants 
from those working within the vicinity. This development comes with four bedroom, all en suite townhouses with a plinth area of 2,345 square feet, sitting on a six acre piece of land. It is situated in a master plan community that offers a unique living experience with a magnificent piece of architecture. Accommodation features. The living room on the main level has extensive sliding doors that lead out to a large backyard terrace and a green lawn. An opulently designed kitchen is next to the living room and inbuilt high-end appliances, pantry space, custom premium cabinetry with soft closing doors and an island with bar stool seating. It also has marble countertops and backsplash. A utility room that doubles as a coat room, a cloakroom and an ensuite staff quarters are also found on the main level. On your way to the first floor, the elliptical stairs that lead to the main suite on the first floor is illuminated by ambient lighting and a skylight that lets in natural light. The main suite has a provision king-size bed and plush sitting area with French doors that open to a private balcony with a glass railing, separate walk-in closets for the couple. The master bedroom also houses the primary bathroom, the two additional guest suites, each with a private ensuite bathroom that gives off a zen vibe and a private family room that completes this distinctive house are located on the second level. Common shared amenities will include controlled entry and exit points with CCTV surveillance, cabro paved driveways, ample parking spaces, street lighting, children play area, green spaces, a clubhouse hosting, a gym, changing rooms and an open hall, swimming pool with an integrated baby pool. Our next stop on the property peak of the week takes us to another gated community along Ololua Road in the Gong neighborhood. This project boasts of exclusive four-bedroom villas offering a unique blend of contemporary design and rustic countryside charm. Let's take a look. This gated community is located within a serene and quiet environment in Gong, which is known for its picturesque landscapes with views of the Gong Hills and the Great Rift Valley. The development comprises of 46 four-bedroom triple-story villas, all en suite with DSQ. Each unit sits on an eighth of an acre and they are properly planned to maximize the view of the surrounding landscape creating a conducive environment for a family to reside. Accommodation features. Spacious lounge with fireplace, dining door leading to veranda and rear yard, spacious kitchen with pantry, laundry yard, visitor's cloakroom, store beneath staircase, guest bedroom with ensuite shower room, first floor, family room or study room, master bedroom with ensuite bathroom, walk-in closet and balcony, all en suite bedrooms, second floor, roof terrace, drying area, staff quarters, shared amenities, 24-hour manned gate with CCTV surveillance, perimeter wall topped with electric wire, street lighting, police post, ample parking space, borehole, solar heating panel, wastewater treatment plant, schools, shopping center and malls, recreational facilities and kids play area, and management offices. Price point for this development starts from 25 million Kenya shillings. 
The developers offer favorable payment options, which are flexible to cater for each buyer. It's a fact. They say you are one hospital bill away from poverty. And yet statistics confirm less than 5% of Kenyans have insurance cover. Today, our expert will demystify why a health insurance cover is a must in today's life. Karibu sana on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nancy. And it's a pleasure to be here. Jerry, give us a background of Jubilee Health Insurance, your mission, where you're taking Kenyans, and why Jubilee Insurance. So Jubilee Health Insurance is part of the Jubilee Insurance Group, which has a lengthy heritage in Kenya. As you know, we are 86 years now. Uh, this company started in Mombasa and has such a rich heritage within this region. Jubilee Health Insurance focuses on providing comprehensive health insurance affordability, but also quality. Because we think, you see, the thing is health insurance is a service. It's not just about uh, whether it's affordable, it's also that people are getting better and we have better healthcare outcomes. So this is the focus for Jubilee Health Insurance, to make sure that our clients are not just getting affordable health financing solutions in the form of insurance plans, but they are also getting better health outcomes. As a leading insurance provider in the region, what sets you apart? Jubilee Health Insurance is a market leader in its sense in many ways. Now, a lot of things set us apart, and some of those would include perhaps our wealth of, of knowledge and the fact that we have this concentration. So we'd be the like of all your uh, international players like Cigna, Bupa, and so on, who focus purely on healthcare. That is what we do here at Jubilee Health Insurance. In addition to that, we go a step further. We have excellent uh, negotiation with, because of the volume of business we have with our hospital partners. As you know, we're also part of the AKDN network, which means that we work very closely with Aga Khan, but we also work with all the other tier one, tier two, tier three hospitals and have great negotiated packages and bundled prices. Now this take care of a couple of things for our customers. One is that it is cost effective, that even if they've bought insurance, that we have negotiated bundles that manage their cost. And two, we are very big on a concept we call value-based care. The aspect that we want to be able to make sure that our customers are getting better. So we have conversations on how long have you been in hospital? How recently have you gone back for a repeat visit? Are you getting better? And to take that a bit further, perhaps even go a bit back, we don't just no longer now deal with curative care. We are not big on preventive. If you look at the trend of lifestyle diseases, I mean, it's unbelievable how early we are seeing the lifestyle diseases coming. Uh, and, and this is something we want to be able to address. And you'll notice some of our initiatives and speak to, can we exercise? Can we manage our weight? Can we address these issues earlier so that we don't have to go uh, and deal with treatment? And in most cases, the cost difference between prevented versus curated is, is night and day. Statistics have confirmed less than 5% of Kenyans have an insurance cover. How will you address that huge gap? It is indeed true that less than 5% of Kenyans have insurance. And you know what's more interesting is this includes the mandatory health insurance cover that is social insurance, which is what has been NHIF. Now, what makes that even more challenging is seeing that. But there are a couple of things that contribute to why uh, we end up with a challenge with, with taking up insurance covers. Now, the first one will be trust. Generally, I think as insurance companies, we still have a lot of work in making sure that we build our trust. And part of what contributes to this is information asymmetry. Whether we like it or not, insurance is a bit complex, but we have to take the responsibility as insurance to educate and help people understand the role of insurance. Because what insurance is, is a risk transfer mechanism. So you're handing that over uh, to somebody else, which means that that outpatient balance you're seeing is not a bank balance. It is not a bank balance that you have to deplete, that you utilize it when you really have a need for it. The second reason as to why we have a big issue with uptake uh, of, of health insurance would also speak to affordability. Now, where the cost of insurance comes from is the value chain, the cost of drugs, the cost of care, and the cost of diagnostics. Now, all of these aspects are outside 
the insurance company, which means you have to depend on these hospitals, you have to depend, depend on, that, on the value chain. But there are a lot of conversations are going on in this area to make sure that can we be able to address this. If we are able to address these issues, then you find that the cost of care becomes a lot more affordable. But however, I must say there are initiatives we do here at Jubilee Insurance in terms of even allowing customers to pay in bite size or in smaller amounts so that it's affordable but they're still able to enjoy cover. The third reason that why I believe that people do not have insurance is our culture. As Kenyans, we have a concept called Harambe, which goes into how we behave. We in our WhatsApp groups. Yes. So those WhatsApp groups, and that's what we're calling it risk transfer. So essentially, Nancy, as you're sending money to that WhatsApp group, you're that person's insurance. And I don't think we realize it. We are actually their insurance. So in most cases, what does happen is there's also the aspect of saying, well, if it happens, somebody else will take care of it. And it really is our way of doing things. So that also contributes because in the event there's an issue, we do expect that people will take care of it. However, what we are noting, of course, as the I mean, as disposable income is shrinking, increasingly we are likely to begin to struggle in having people contribute. Not because they don't want to, but because their basic priorities may, may strain. And therefore, the conversation on whether we have a health insurance cover or not should not be a question anymore. It is at the very heart of our existence. Remember, when you get into any kind of issue and you rush to hospital, so if you need to be admitted, there's an upfront expectation of cash. But if you have a health insurance cover, all you need to do is present your card and get assigned a bed. So health insurance, and when we speak to and, and the aspect of the fact that we really are all just one hospital bill away from poverty, it's not just yours or mine. It's everybody else who's made us their insurance. Walk us through some specific insurance covers that every viewer would want to tap into. Great. So the first one in our flagship product is called J Care. Now you'll notice as I speak through that most of our products start with J, which is Jubilee. Jubilee, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So J Care is essentially that comprehensive ideal cover for you and for the family. It has inpatient, which means admissions in case you get admitted. It will take care of that and it will take care up to 10 million shillings. It has outpatient, which means that in case you just want to, you're going to get treated, it's a day case. It will treat you until drugs, labs, everything. It has dental, it has optical inbuilt, you can choose to include maternity. So the, this product is, is, is very expansive in terms of what it would offer and quite affordable as well. So that is our main product in terms of families and individuals. In addition to that, we have J Seniors. And J Seniors is for seniors. If you're a parent all the way until almost 75, 80 years old, this cover will be able to take care of that. So you want to tell me from 85, if my parent is going to 99, they have no cover. And that's when they need that cover most. Good question, Nancy. Now the unique thing about J Senior, if your parent gets in by the time they're 70 years of age, they are covered for life, which means you just continue renewing, just continue being on cover. So essentially the key aspect is to come in because you see what we do is begin certain interventions. We begin to manage them. We put in place certain aspects to help them manage their health better. So you find even the, the medical outcomes are usually really good. So we prefer that they come in at least by the age of 70 and you'll find that we really from there should be able to work with them for life. So that really uh, is our seniors offering. We also have a J Junior cover. And this is for children. So if you have a child from when they're born to almost from when infant. Seven, yes, from when they're infant to, to about 17 years old, they can be comfortably on, on J Junior. And this is often because we do find that there are children who do not either I mean you have single parent setups and maybe they support here or there, or a child at times the cover is only for the child. So J Junior takes care of that. And this child is covered including for immunizations. So it covers a child for inpatient, for outpatient. And you know when they are really young. There's a lot of incidences. That's when we deal with coughs, they have a flu here, they have tonsillitis here. So it really is a very critical cover for anyone to, to make sure that they have for their child. Otherwise, you're then doing this out of pocket. We then have our latest offering, which is what we call Cover Bora. Now, Cover Bora is intended for anyone who wants to be able to get on cover, but, but sort of feels it's expensive. So this makes sure they, in case they're hospitalized, there's hospitalization. It still makes sure they have maternity. And incidentally, the most interesting thing with Cover Bora, it has a cost for Nancy alone. But in addition to that, it has a cost for a family, a flat rate, regardless of the family size, up to five people. Wow. So essentially, it makes sense if you have, an, 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 and I hear you saying smaller groups or charmers, perfect product because at the end of the day, you're saying that, look, we are this number of people in my family. It's a flat rate. And that's why we're saying it's cost effective. We then have products for SMEs. 
and SMEs have such a unique need requirement in the way they operate. It also has inpatient out. And we realize why this is so critical is because it improves retention, isn't it? And that's, and that's very critical for the SME because you can't keep having your talent moving in here and out and you have key man risks every other day. So that cover is able to do inpatient, outpatient. You're able to customize it quite a bit in terms of what you want to be able to do and it is cost effective. You can assign different benefits depending on the categories of the people you have. And in most cases, there are smaller groups. The most interesting thing about our SME it's from three people. Mm -hmm. It's from three people within the SME. Wow. So it really gives you an opportunity to, uh, if you're SME starting small, and those are the ones we call, you're really starting your micro SME, start. Because once you start it, you retain the talent, you, it addresses motivation, it has even better performance for your staff. You're not managing this small, I have a headache, my child is unwell, because that's already taken care of. And then you get your team to focus on production and performance. In addition to that, we have covers for corporates, and these ones make sure that, I mean, you have, you're a big company, small company, be able to build that and, and customize it depending on So wherever on you I want. am, you have a solution we for We have a solution. And I cannot forget to emphasize, if you want an international medical cover, if you want limits in dollars, we have that. And we have such a comprehensive offering that you really cannot afford to miss it. Today, we offer Allianz as the cover, and, and Allianz among the biggest providers of, of healthcare international cover and we continue to work with partners that enable you to do that. I must mention Nancy that on our corporate cover offerings and even on our JKR offerings in the event that you are referred or need to get outside of a cease treatment we have an international desk that takes care of that. We have existing credit arrangements even with hospitals say in India where you just need to go in get treated and work out just as you do in Nairobi. Indeed, a health insurance cover makes sense. Fortunately, Jubilee Health Insurance provides a cover from infancy all through to old age. Their products have affordable options for both local and international hospitals, ensuring you are covered at every stage of your life. We are taking a quick commercial break. Still ahead, it's time to say goodbye to power blackouts and step into the light with Sun King, the world's leading off-grid solar energy company with solutions ideal for every home. Coming in literally the next day, I called my friend who connected me to Sun King and I was more than satisfied with how Quickly, within 24 hours, I kid you not, I had a system in place. The Property News. Our favorite home ownership segment highlights the ABCs of a successful home buying experience. The best part of owning a home, I think, is the fact that you sleep well at night knowing there's no landlord coming to knock at your door saying rent is due. And also because it's a location that we chose, we know we don't have to leave. Don't touch that doll. We'll be right back after the break. You're watching The Property Show.
Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show, your ultimate guide for all things real estate. Today we are saying goodbye to power blackouts. Next, a conversation with Sankin, the world's leading off-grid solar energy company with their products that are changing lives to a path of a brighter future. Let's listen in. Today, it's all about saying goodbye to blackouts. Sankin, a global leader in off-grid energy solutions, is dedicated to providing affordable power to communities without access to traditional grid connection. Let's hear more. Karibu sana on the show. Thank you so much, Nancy. It's a pleasure to be here. Take us through who is Sankin? Where did you come from? Suddenly, everywhere, it's Sankin, <laughs> Sankin, Sankin. Who is Sankin? Sun King was started by a gentleman from America in 2008 and he wanted to provide a solution where the communities that he had given a solution to were using um, diesel fired generators and he thought this will not work. How can I use what is readily available to be able to give that community something that is better? And then that is how we started designing Sun King solutions. So by virtue of that background, we've been designing solar solutions which we distribute ourselves, which we install, but at the same time, we do finance consumers who can't be able to afford. Take us through the range of the solar energy solutions available from Sankin. At the very basic, if you know what a koroboi is, a koroboi is that lantern that is lit by kerosene with a wick. And that's what most communities where power is not available are using to study. So that's where we began. We have a solution that costs as low as about 1,000 Kenya shillings and that solution is a task light. So it enables the child or the person who is using it to concentrate a bit of light in the section where they are. Whether you're reading or you're knitting something or you're writing something and that's the basic. That's the really basic lantern and it starts from there. Then we go to slightly much more brighter. We've also added entertainment in terms of a radio to a lantern which also has a portability effect, which means you can actually leave your house with it, go and milk your cows or go outside and just look at the moon. Then we also came up with home solutions. So you want to power several rooms in your house. What do you do? A lantern is not feasible for that. So we have a home solution. And the home solution affords you between two lights, three lights, four lights, and even five lights. Um, and it powers. So it is an all-inclusive set, which has a battery the solar panel and the lights itself. What we say when we buy a Sunking product, the only thing I don't put in the box is a hammer. I've given you nails, I've given you the panel, I've given you the wires to harness the panel. The only thing that I don't provide in the box is a hammer. And the hammer is readily available. So when you move away, you can even use a stone and it can be done by anyone, including you and me. Um, over and above that, now we have your home and my home. So we figured there must be a need for customers who are within the grid, or are not even within the grid, but they have a much bigger need for power. You want to power your TV, you want to power your house, your radio, your microwave, your fridge. What do you have as a solution from solar? Then we've designed one, which is why we are here. And if you can take a look at this, this is what we're trying to also say, is part of the portfolio we have wow. as solutions, yes. When it comes to actually power in my world that yeah. I will never lack power. Yeah. What solution and how is the installation process like? So ideally you will come to me. Tell me Oscar, I want to be able to use solar to power my home. So that's the first problem. The next question I'll be asking you is what do you want from solar exactly? Do you want it to give you backup so that whenever there's a power blackout, you have a solution that enables you to continue living your life the way you normally live it? Or do you want to completely just use solar without access to grid? Or are you in a home where you don't have access to grid at all? So if that's the case, then we'll come to your house to understand what are you powering exactly in your home? 
Just talk like me. I want you to power my house if I have no electricity. I want you to power my living area, my kitchen, maybe my bedroom, my study, my TV room. How would you give me that solution? To replace the grid and power everything in your house, there are several things that we need to, need to take into consideration. If you want to power the cooker, for example, and you want to bake, and you want to use solar, that might not really work. So those items we top normally, we say that will not really affect how your lifespan is or lifestyle if the grid is not available. So we will try and remove that item from the solar solution. But what is the most critical part when there is no power? It is lighting, it is your TV, it's your Wi-Fi, it's your fridge, you don't want your food to get cold. Can I iron? If you have a very well energy efficient iron, you can. But you see, if there is no power, really, the it's iron not is not my life and death. Mm -hmm. However, if you wanted to iron one shirt, two shirts, a dress, that is entirely possible if your iron is energy efficient. So it is possible to use, to use solar for that, yeah. Let's talk about the financing arm. Um, I mean, the thing we've seen with uh, Sun King is the biggest impediment to people taking up solar is the upfront cost. The most expensive part of a solar solution is a battery, followed by the inverter then the panels of course and the labor and the consumables so all those things have to be bought up front and that can be out of reach of most people where you're being told to pay upwards of 250,000 and there is no upper limit depends on what you're trying to buy so what Sunking is doing is making it affordable for you removing that impediment by telling you why don't you come to me tell me how much you can be able to afford after we've done an assessment of your house and if we are able to determine that this solution is the right one for you and you can be able to meet the monthly costs, all you need to do is pay a deposit. And then we can finance you from anywhere from three months up to 18 months. Don't go away, we'll be right back with the owner of this house who'll be taking us through why she chose Sunkin. about power blackouts and how you connected with Sunkin. Towards the end of last year, uh, I think we had nationwide blackouts. I think everybody experienced that. On one of those particular blackouts, I had guests in house and my own home had solar. Here I had the lanterns and of course I was a little bit, if not mortified. Um, a couple of days before that, I'll take you back a little bit. I was watching YouTube and I came across the Sun King uh, video of Western Kenya and what they were doing yes, there. Yes, they do a great job there. Yes. yes. And so I called a friend of mine immediately as soon as the guests checked out. I had other guests coming in literally the next day. I called my friend who connected me to Sun King and I was more than satisfied with how quickly Within 24 hours, I kid you not, I had a system in place. And so, at least going forward, I've not had any issues whatsoever, and I would not hesitate to recommend them. Um, they work really quickly. I have to tell you, the turnaround time was amazing. And that's what you wanted. And, and that's, that's what, what I wanted. wanted. I didn't want a solution that would take very long. I needed something to happen now and they came in and literally spent 12 hours here and they left me completely off grid for this particular A-frame. I can literally run without the grid on this uh, project. Really? Yes. So um, I've had huge savings. Uh, I would say about a third, considering how the bills kept on being increased, the fees were getting higher and higher. And on top of paying such high bills, it was not reliable. So for me, what I really wanted is reliability and savings. And I got both of that from Sunkin. You've had it. It's time to say goodbye to power blackouts. And guess what? Sunkin stands as your steadfast partner. They have innovative solutions for every home.
our signature bus tour is back. Join us for a fun-filled day with invaluable insights. Explore properties across different neighborhoods and enjoy the privilege of a front row seat alongside legal and financial experts who are ready to answer all your questions. Throughout the tour, engage with developers. While at it, create connections, transforming your real estate journey. Let's hear a personal encounter on taking the bus tour. You have more to gain than to lose. That even if you're not in that position where you're ready, knowledge is power. You're going to be able to see what is out there and begin to do your research so that when you're finally ready to make that decision, you'll have all the information that you get. And it will be time well spent. As I keep saying, these are people of excellence. You, at the end of the day, you will not be feeling tired, you will be happy, yeah. Coming up, we are excited to announce an upcoming masterclass where we will guide you through the process of purchasing a property. From engaging stakeholders to understanding must-have documents, we will cover it all and much more. Keep an eye on our digital platforms for more information. This is an opportunity you don't want to miss. Are you hosting an event and would like to be featured on this platform? Simply shoot us an email and reserve a spot on our calendar. Next, our favorite home ownership experience, featuring the art of due diligence when it comes to buying and investing in the world of property. and a mother of two, learning and development consultant. I do corporate events and private events for small and large corporates. When we started dating with my husband, one of the things that we knew is that when we started a family, we would like to settle down into our home. So for about five years, we were renting, and then we decided it was time to get children, and our mind just automatically went to owning a home, and hence began our search for a home. Our search for a home was actually took almost five years before we settled into buying a home. Our initial idea was to build because we both had uh, things that we wanted to bring into our home. Each of us had ideas and that is part of the reason why it took us such a long time to settle uh, down into an owning a home. He wanted this, I wanted that and by the time we were settling down to this particular home, we already had a house plan in mind. It had been drawn, we had contractors ready to go, architects, and then we watched a show and property show and that's when we saw this beautiful home which met almost 80% of our idea for owning a home. Uh, we came and visited it and voila, here we are today. Before we settled now here, eventually, we took a trip around very many locations looking at homes, seeing what was out there on offer. Um, we knew we had a budget of the home we wanted, so we were trying to look for a home that was within our range. And also we wanted a place that was central in term, because our children were about to start school. So we wanted somewhere where there was a school, a hospital, a shopping center. So we looked around for almost six months. Then we came here and settled on um, heritage villas. The best part of owning a home, I think, is the fact that you sleep well at night knowing there's no landlord coming to knock at your door saying rent is due. And also because it's a location that we chose, we know we don't have to live under someone who's noisy, probably have noisy neighbors who come at night uh, from partying or something like that. And then we also got to get a place that has enough ground and fields for our children to play. So for us that's comfort, uh, knowing that our kids can run around and we don't have to worry about their safety. And also the fact that our money is intact. It's not like when you're giving your money to a landlord and it's never coming back to you. 
owning a home you know you can always resell it at a higher value it's almost like an asset for us uh, there's also the security of knowing you've worked hard for your money it's your blood and sweat so it's something every day when you walk in you know this is mine nobody's going to take it away from me and also it's something that we know we will leave for our children one day it, they get to inherit this and if ever we want to make changes or earn money from it like renting we can always do that without having to consult anybody. Some of the challenges we encountered when buying this home. I think for me, I was so used to the city life. So moving here was quite a culture shock. First, there's access to roads, there's a the constant traffic, although I, I would have imagined coming to somewhere further than the city, the traffic was much easier, but uh, interestingly, it's like everybody is escaping the city life and moving here, so traffic was almost twice what we were used to. And then there was the issue of accessibility to uh, major hospitals. We were used to going to Nairobi Hospital, Aga Khan Hospital, then come here, it's only clinics that are not 24 hours. And also supermarkets, access to supermarkets and recreational centers for children. And our firstborn had already started school, so by the time we were moving her, for her to settle here, it took quite a while. Then the roads were not tarmacked, so from the road to access to here, there was a lot of dust, and we didn't have a lot of neighbors, we didn't have a lot of people moving into this development. And my constant worry was security. You know, in Nairobi, you were surrounded by so many buildings with um, G4S and many other securities. Come here, you had to look for your own personal security guard but right now we have all those other companies covering us so that is no longer a worry. In our initial search for a home we did not intend to contract any professional to help us look for a home. What we went with was just looking around uh, different TV shows and uh, different home ideas on uh, YouTube on Netflix and then we bumped into the show um, by Property Show. Uh, we saw this home and then we contacted First Avenue. They advised us from there and worked with us throughout the journey until we eventually ended up owning this home. I think it's very important to uh, contract a professional before you own a home because number one, you need to do your own due diligence and that's where they come in to assist you with any loopholes that might be there that you had not seen. Especially for lawyers, they're able to read through the fine print and tell you what it is that you're missing before you sign on the dotted line. Also, uh, some of these contractors do shoddy jobs, so it's always good to do your own groundwork or get somebody to do some groundwork and make sure that these are credible people that you're contracting. I also forgot to mention the reason why we decided to buy a ready-made home. Uh, when you contract a contractor, sometimes they end up diverting your funds to their other projects and that ends up stalling your process for a very long time or you get fundies that do shoddy work so you have to come back and now spend more money fixing the mistakes that they already had already made so when we came here we saw something that an end product and we knew we wanted to move in immediately not like when you're building your own home it can take you even sometimes more than two years and you intended to move in within six months so getting somebody who's a professional Someone will walk with you and they end up doing the groundwork for you. You don't have to keep running here to do this, to do that. They do the whole package for you and bring to you the end product and tell you this is what we found, this is what you need to put in mind, this is what you need to consider, these are the do's, the don'ts, and uh, it helps you make a conclusive decision. Before you rent or buy a home, it's important to embrace working with professionals every step of the way. Why do I say so? Something like doing your own due diligence prevents obstacles that could cost you so much down the road. Would you like to share your home ownership story? What was your experience and how you navigated the challenges? Just give us a call and let's inspire the next homeowner. Thank you for watching The Property Show. 
this season, we have lined up diverse solutions from turning your plot into a dream home with our upscale tanky budget solution to handling your home renovations with our iFundi home services, addressing your home needs. And of course, we remain your to go to when looking to buy a home, invest or even rent. And we have properties in every budget. See you next Sunday. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our digital platforms for a weekly real estate dose. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri.